The first step in the analysis of a dynamic system is to drive its model. Models may assume different forms depending on the particular systems and the circumstances. Mathematical model of a dynamic system can often be expressed as a system of differential equations or difference equations in a case of discrete time system. The response of a dynamic system to an input may be obtained if these differential equations are solved. The differential equation can be obtained by utilizing physical laws governing a particular system, for example, Newton's law for mechanical system or Kirchhoff's law for electrical system. In obtaining a model, we must make a compromise between simplicity of the model and the accuracy of results of the analysis. In this lecture, we learn how we can do that by studying two real-world dynamical systems but before that, we need to learn and review some concepts related to state space. As we learned in previous lecture, at any given time, a dynamical system has a state given by a vector that can be represented as a point in a geometrical manifold. What future states follow from the current state is described by the evolution rule of a dynamical system. We also define the set of all states of a system of ordinary differential equations as phase space. Now if we plot the solution of equation of a motion in a phase space, then we have a phase curve. The phase curve is depends on the initial state, uh, and if we plot single or multiple of them corresponding to a different initial conditions in the same phase plane, then we have a phase portrait. To fully understand the behavior of a dynamical system, on top of this, also we need to know how the system moves from one position to another, and this is described by the trajectories through a state space. A trajectory or a path is a set of positions in a state space through which system might pass successively. Now let's look at a real uh, world dynamic system, a biological system containing two species, predator and prey. There are literally hundreds of example predator-prey relationship in an ecosystem. Predation is a biological interaction where an organism that hunting feeds on its prey. There is a continuous tussle between predators and their prey and so an inverse relationship between the number of predators and prey. If we take fox rabbits as an example, then uh, if rabbits left on their own, they will produce with the velocity of hundreds or, for example, and foxes without rabbits will starve and their population will decline with a velocity of, let's say, minus 50 at. If we put these two species in the same environment, foxes will catch and eat rabbits. So the loss of the rabbit population will be proportional to the number of foxes and the number of rabbits, both of them. The predator-prey model was initially proposed by Lotka in the theory of autocatalyst chemical reaction in 1910, and Woltra developed his model independently from Lotka and used it to explain Yanako's observation, his son-in-law, regarding increasing the fauna population during World War I in Adriatic Sea. lotka voltra model are a pair of first-order nonlinear differential equations, frequently used to describe the dynamic of biological system in which two species interact, one as predator and the other as prey. The population change through a time according to a pair of equations as you can see here with a set of parameters. We can solve these equations and come up with uh, graphs which show the change of the um, populations of predators and prey over the time or uh, we can plot the phase uh, plane of the system. The second dynamic system which we will study in this lecture is motion. One of the motion you might encounter a lot in uh, real life is, uh, and we would like to model here, is periodic motion. For example, you can think about the motion of the planets around the sun 
or the change in the traffic lights or particle motion under force when the displacement is linear. This type of motion is very predictable and we can predict far into the future and way back into the past that what has happened in the system, for example, when eclipse happens. In this system, small disturbances are often rectified and do not increase to alter the system trajectory very much in the long run. Uh, differential equations of a motion usually identified as some physical law and applying definition of physical quantities is used to set up uh, an equation for the problem. Solving this equation will lead to a general solution with arbitrary constants, which results into a family of solutions instead of one uh, single solution. But still, we can find a particular solution by setting the initial values, which fixes the values of the constants. Now, if we solve the equations uh, which used to model particle motion under the force, then we can see that the motion is simple harmonics in each of the two dimensions. And both of these oscillations have the same frequency, but in general, they have a different amplitudes. The amplitudes uh, denoted by A and B and the phases uh, denoted by alpha and beta are determined by initial conditions. So uh, different initial condition can give us a different solution. Uh, so what we have here is not a single solution, but a family of solutions. Now, if uh, we want to plot phase portrait for the system, what we need to do is that uh, we need to find all of its paths. An equation for path is obtained by eliminating T in the solutions and we will do it for this system by defining a new parameter delta equals to alpha minus beta. Then if we play with the equations a bit then uh, we can uh, find out that the, except for special cases the general path is an ellipse-like. Therefore the phase port rate for this system is a family of ellipses each of which is a separate phase curve for different initial conditions. Studies such as portraits or diagrams give insight into the physics of the particle motions or any system which we study. Uh, as homework, you can try to create phase portraits of this oscillator in mathematical.